5,000 jam the Indianapolis Speedway for the first post-war Memorial Day Classic. And as a sample of burning up the track, a speedy 198 Buick works up to 10 miles per and shades of your merry Oldsmobile. What are you laughing at? You could at least buy a car back in those dear, almost forgotten days of plenty. Wilbur Shaw, one-time winner, and Colonel Roscoe Turner survey events, as do General Jimmy Doolittle and Henry Ford II. But down on Gasoline Alley, all is suspense and activity as the moment nears for the 500-mile grind. Faced by Henry Ford, the field completes the warm-up lap and is flagged off. The big race is on. In the first lap, McQueen pours on the coal and passes Putnam like he's standing still. Keep an eye on number 10. He's due for trouble. And here's that trouble. Russo crashes into the wall on the northeast turn. He walked away from it. George Robson of Los Angeles is near victory in the grueling driving duel. And he's over, the winner, with an average speed of almost 115 miles an hour. Throughout the race, the winner was closely pressed and finished a scant minute in front of Jimmy Jackson, who took second place. And the last lap is always the best.